एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर वीडियो ऑन इंस्टॉलिंग फ्री ओपन सोर्स मैप्स ऑन द गार्मिन डिवाइसेस यू नीड टू फर्स्ट ओपन योर ब्राउजर एंड गो टू गार्मिन ओपन स्ट्रीट मैप्स दिस इज़ अ सोर्स फॉर फ्री मैप्स फॉर ऑल गार्मिन डिवाइसेस एंड यू नीड टू सिलेक्ट द जेनेरिक राउटेबल मैप्स and we'll be showing a download of the map of oman out here so you just select the continent and select the relevant country and the ready made maps will be available for download on this link you need to select the last option and the download of the map will start these maps are not as exhaustive as the original garmin maps but there is a way around that as long as you know the places you want to visit and we'll cover that shortly obtaining gps coordinates is a simple process let's cover the first option using google maps so you just need to open google maps and search for the location uh the muscat international airport here and you can double click and what you will see here is uh gps coordinates and you can just save them um for later use let's try that one more time with another location if double click doesn't work uh, you can try and zoom in as close to the location as possible and right click on what's here you will see the gps coordinates then i know this looks a bit painful but uh, you can save a lot of money on uh, either renting a separate gps while you are renting a car on while traveling abroad or on buying maps from garmin themselves and it's a small price to pay for the amount of money that you are able to save once you have all these locations uh, coordinates saved you can in fact save them in your garmin gps device also for easier access um, other option is to use google maps on your mobile phone this requires a working data connection and the easiest way is to simply drop a pin to drop a pin you need to hold down your finger on the area that you are interested in and you should see something like this and if you just take it slightly higher you should be able to see the gps coordinates you can also search and open a location up let's try and do that and when the location comes you can just click on it and take it a little bit up and you should be able to see the gps coordinates as well now we've downloaded maps of india in oman but uh, the garmin device supports only one image file and you cannot just combine these files simply uh, especially in locations which have a shared geography so you need to use this application called osm combiner uh, its link is there in the description below Um, this will allow you to combine the maps easily so you simply need to uh, click on next and drop the individual extracted uh, image files into this application and you need to do this for both the maps so in india as well if it's a large map like india it might take a little bit of time Yep. Now this is done. You just click on next, and uh, you can name uh, the map as per your choice, and what name should be visible on the device. Uh, and you need to select this option, create gmapsup.img, uh, and you can just click on start after that. 
and this application will then start you know, to combine both the maps and give you a combined single file that can be easily placed on the Garmin device. Yeah, so we can see this is finished here and uh, you can just say no and quit and uh, here we can see in this folder we've got the combined file now and we can just copy it onto uh, the SD card please note that your folder needs to be named Garmin with a capital G and once this map is copied you can simply uh, put the SD card in your device now that we've copied the maps we simply need to insert the SD card into our Garmin device and you can feel a soft click uh, so that you know that the SD card is in place now we connect the Garmin uh, power cable to the car charging slot and the light is green so we know that power is coming just click on accept this GPS was bought from the US and was last used there so we can still see it trying to acquire satellites and now we just had to reboot it once and we can see all the bars now green if we go to view map we should be able to see uh, the maps of India now the common locations you should be able to navigate to easily uh, so say for example the airport nearby yeah we can see it and this is how the navigation looks and as you can see it's able to also identify petrol stations and places to eat nearby so it's not like the maps don't have any kind of information but it may not be as exhaustive as uh, a Garmin map that you purchase for the specific country using the GPS coordinates that we save requires a little bit of setting on the device so you need to go to categories and coordinates and we need to change the coordinate format on the Garmin device uh, so you can just click on the settings uh, icon on the top left and go to coordinate format and uh, we need to just change it from the default to this one hdd.ddd.dd and now you should be able to enter coordinates in the same format as we got them from the Google Maps. So this is an example of a location uh, that we've just searched for and this is how the navigation looks. It's very similar to what you would find on an original Garmin map, turn by turn navigation and it's fairly easy to use now we're trying to switch on the same uh, Garmin device in Oman we are at the Muscat uh, International Airport and uh, we can see it's still trying to locate the satellites on this trip to Oman uh, GPS uh, from the car rental agency was costing around $15 per day we could have also bought the maps from Garmin for around $120 so this free alternative saves you a decent amount of money all right so it's finally located where we are at the international airport let's also just have a look at navigation uh, we've saved a couple of uh, locations that we had shown earlier and you can just go to the saved and uh, you can refer to those places easily from here. Thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe if you like our videos.